What's the name of the episode? Rock and Road. Rock and Road. Hey guys, Justin Hastings here. Hey, what's up? I'm Tony Corey. And I'm Chris Millison. And you're watching popcorn and joysticks. You're watching popcorn and joysticks. What is this? Girl Scout Thin Mints. Who the fuck ate this shit? It just broke in the bag. Oh. Oh, man, just eat that shit. Get over it. Well, Justin. <laughs> ah, <my God. laughs> so we just got done watching the mid season premiere hmm. of The Walking Dead. What's the name of the episode? Rock in the road. Rock in the road. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I thought he was trying to test me, but Tony was like, I got was, it. but Tony said, I, I got, got that. this. It was rock and roll. Such a good episode, you guys. It, again, it was. If you guys watched us on the live stream, we were on YouTube and Facebook. It was a slow burn, but damn it, did it fucking show us some shit that we wanted to see? How yeah. fucking Louia? Yeah. Well, Let's talk about it. Come on. Praise all right. God. Praise God. So we all kind of knew how it was going to start. Mm -hmm. I was mad cooking in my mouth right now. It's too much. Well, we all knew it was going to start out with them trying to go around and get everybody in their shit and like. You know, come join us, come be part of our group. They have right. cookies on the side. And what was it, like half an hour? Uh, last <laughs> <time>? <laughs> we got cookies we got over, over here, come join us. I was surprised, I will say, when they went into the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Right. And if you'll get it, if you watch the live stream, you heard me discussing it with Justin. Is I was surprised when we went into the kingdom and Ezekiel was like, skirt. Mm -hmm. And now we're not going to fight. He did. Mm -hmm. And we were all like, what? For real? You're not going to fight? What the fuck are you training all these people for if you're not going to fight? That's what I'm saying. That's what right. that's he was doing the whole mm -hmm. time. Like, what were you doing? But we understand why. I understand why. I was a little upset we didn't get to see Carol at that point. I thought we were going to. Well, we did get to see Carol in the woods, but I was a little They didn't even go see the bitch! When, when fucking, um, what's his name? Um, don't care. Morgan. Yeah, when Morgan said, so she's in the fucking woods. And they were just like, okay, yeah, but oh, she okay, know? cool. She yeah. lied to okay. you know. That's like, it. <laughs> maybe they mad that she bailed on. Huh? Maybe they're like, they fuck probably, her then. Well, you know what? I think Rick, after everything that they've been through together, I think he respects it. I think yeah. he's like, I'll leave her alone for right now. She yeah, pulled a fucking Henry David Thoreau. She going out in the fucking woods for about a couple years. She gonna write a book of poems. <laughs> and she gonna, poem. And she gonna come back. Fuck Carol. I don't care about her anymore. No, Carol's gonna come back like we need her. I don't care at all, Carol. Okay. So let's fast Carol. forward a little bit. Okay. We'll fast forward a little bit. Mm-hmm. When? TNT. Yeah, we have too far forward. I'm sorry. I'm going too far. Going no, he's too not. Far. No, he's no, right. I'm he's right. right. Yeah. My bad, you're right. That part was You'll so... You'll never hear me say those words again. Chris was right. <laughs> they come across... Rodrigo is... It's still not a fucking word. Anyway. But whatever. That you part was good. These cookies are so good. They are so good. That's why I'm not for beating them, but... That part was great. Okay. I don't say that shit often. So they stumbled upon this line of... Oh, my man. Of TNT... Rocket launchers, RPGs and shit. Yep. And guess what? They got all of a sudden everybody's a fucking weapons expert. Mm -hmm. Which we were a little like, okay. True. But anyway. True. Can we please touch on my man Rick and my homegirl Michonne getting in the car and doing that damn thing? No, no, no. Can we please okay. talk about it? Side to side. You good? You good, B? I got you, B. <gasps> like, it wasn't even no thing. <laughs> like, they were so in sync. <laughs> they were just like... Falling like dominoes. And give two fucks two, about them shit. Give two fucks. Mm -mm. Best part of the damn thing the whole time. Yes, it was. That's fucking dying. We were like, ah! Now, however, <laughs> however, when they stopped. We were a little upset. They both could have died. Oh, yeah. my gosh. I was Rick, on pins and needles. Rick could have got bit yep. like three times. Mm -hmm. yeah. that was it was very risky. All it took was one slip. One, uh, oh. It was very risky. If his shoelace came on time, he'd be done. All right, so let's fast forward a little bit more. <laughs> so they hear over the radio, they're looking for Daryl. True. Mm. So now they gotta break camp to get back to where were they? Hilltop, right? Where were they? Hilltop? Mm. They, come, they came from Hilltop <coughs> on the way back to Alexandria. And that's right, when right. he told Sasha and Jesus to go back there and warn yes. him. Then all of them did that shit that they just described right. and then ran it back to Alexandria. Right. So they gotta get back and warn them. Okay, they're coming looking for Daryl. Well, Daryl's not here because what? clearly Ezekiel gave him. But boy, did they flip up every fucking thing that they had left in that I fucking house. I like an ATF that was raid and that motherfucker. Up. <laughs> fucked up. I said, damn it, that's wait, fucked wait, up. Wait, wait, wait. Gabriel. <coughs> I was going to say Gabriel last. Talk about it. Go ahead, bro. Speak on where, where did he go? First five minutes of the episode, we see Gabriel getting in the car, okay? 
My boy loaded that shit up. He had plans. Water, shit. He had the fucking manuscript of his mm-hmm. fucking life on that book. And he <laughs> drove off in a car. And we think somebody might have been in that car. We mm-hmm. don't know. We don't know. He thinks that. We don't know. So we're, going we're by, stuck. Yeah, we're going by with Chris down now. But we're stuck between. Did he didn't he, show up. Did he? I know. And I felt like at the end and of that you know episode, what they're gonna we do? were going to see him, and no, we no. didn't. Next episode, we're not going to see it again. They're going to fuck us over for like at least two more episodes. Mm. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. It think feels like next episode, wins. we're going to be in the um, Garbage Pail Kids place. Yeah. Garbage Patch Kids, yeah. Garbage Pail so Kids. So I feel like... I feel like... It's cabbage Patch. I feel, oh, wait, wait, wait. So I feel like one of those people were in the back of the car. I think you're right. You probably did see someone, I'm sure. I don't, know who, them. I don't know who it is. But it could be, because we haven't met them yet. The it might be is, the ghost of a little So he's probably no. held captive... Mm-hmm. Back there. For all we know, the fucking zombie that turns around when Rick turns around and fucking spikes is fucking him. It just spikes in the back of the car. <laughs> it's him. Sorry. The best know. part of The Walking Dead so far. The question is, did Gabriel, spike zombie. The question is, did Gabriel take all the shit and bounce? No. Or did Gabriel take all the shit and hide it? No. He's what not. do you think, folks? What do y'all think? P and J's? We win. Win. What uh-huh. do you guys think? Did he take all their shit and just be like, deuces, I'm out? Or nope. did he nope. take everything to protect those items I think for just, them? I think he just went to go protect them. Just like he did with the guns. But how did Wait, he whoa, know whoa. he needed to do that? No, okay, never mind. He's smart. He's smarter than he looked. He knew that all this was going to happen. I know I know. Father Gabriel's done fucked up in the past, but he really has been redeeming himself, y'all. Y'all cannot deny that. You cannot deny that. Even though you don't think it's enough, he's been redeeming himself. It's not enough. No. It's not enough for me. Sorry. Not yet. Not I believe yet. You. I not agree yet. with you that he's taking steps, but he's he is going not redeeming to. Him he ain't done yet. He's not redeeming. He's only begun. Mm-hmm. Okay. He, he does have his steps. It looks like he's taking some big steps. He's We've only just begun. Don't hate me. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. And we're done. Four dollar cookies. This um, is the whole bag. <laughs> Eat it. It was good. Eat it. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> Oh, oh no! Oh my gosh! Okay, so let's fast forward again, and we're at the end of the episode because I think there was some filler shit in there anyway. We're just gonna skip past anyhow. Okay. So we're at the end of the episode, and they find the notebook. It says boat. Who the fuck wrote that in the notebook? We don't have a damn clue. But they go down. But to whose notebook book. was that? I don't even who's know. Whoever in the back seat wrote that shit on him. No, 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 no. I don't even know whose notebook it is. We don't know. We're just we're just speculating. We have no idea. So they go to where the boathouse is. Okay. Here, here's something I want to throw in the mix. Okay. We got Jesus. We got Jesus. Mm-hmm. We got Gabriel. Jesus Gabriel. Gabriel. Jesus Gabriel. Gabriel. Mm-hmm. Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Okay. With some biblical. We getting some biblical right names up here. Shit, they're right. getting. They're going towards something. something My point right. was. Oh, sorry. What's your point? Chris? Gabriel is an archangel, so Gabriel's gonna redeem his fucking soul. Gabriel is a female. That's what I was saying. Bring it the fuck home, nigga. Gabriel was a female. No, she was. Gabrielle was a female. So like Gabriel. Yeah. So. Female. No. Let's go to the very yeah. fucking ending. Now we are here with these motherfuckers bum rushing our nigga Rick. Matter of <laughs> fact, which I called. Woo! And I said it was going to happen. Oh! Do it right here. Oh my god, be careful. Stop. Do it right no. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> um, but no. We can so, frame him now. We got his DNA. <laughs> you can clone me now, bitch. I'll you for some shit. Oh, frame him. I think they clone me. Anyway. Frame me. Oh, we only need one, Justin. That's right. We only need one. Justin. It's more than enough. Just one. Trust that. <laughs> Oh, uh, but anyway, so at the end, everybody's bum rushing Rick, right? So our speculation is that these are the, the garbage <laughs> yeah. kids or junkyard kids or right. whatever you want to call them. Okay, we, can we not look off camera? Can we look in the camera? Guess right? what? What? He got the fucking cookies over there. <laughs> oh, can you pass me your cookie? I got you. Y'all might as well just finish Thank the bag. What weapon cookies. is Jerry holding? The Talking Dead's on, y'all. Oh, double headed axe. Double headed axe. Hey, uh, we could have waited in whoa, this shit. Whoa, okay, they're trying to trick us, look. Mm-hmm. It's a double-headed axe. Here anyway, look, Justin got to cut all kinds of shit, come on. It's all good. I like, the, I like this. this, we got good synergy right here. All right, so. We all good. All now three. the question all is. All three of us are good, we look, don't have nobody. Else. Stop licking Justin's <laughs> face. Oh my God. So the question is, what are these, this new group? Are they a good group? Are they a baby? That's what I'm saying. Are they going to join forces? I feel like they are good, but Who? like you said. The, the garbage? garbage? Yeah. The garbage but I feel like they are, like you said, we don't know you. So so hold the fuck up. Unlike Alexandra, who, again, in my opinion, stop fucking giving people your guns. You go to the fucking mm, kid, oh, here it is, here it is. Oh, we only got two. Right. No, bitch. Here. We got ten guns, bitch, and we're not letting them go. Right. Now what? Sorry, I just feel really strongly about that because we're in the apocalypse. Stop giving your fucking guns away, Rick. You dumbass. Have True. A lot of dumbass. You think he has another one on his fucking like calf or some yeah, shit? Yeah. Here's what I'm gonna leave this with. I don't think they have a choice. What do you think Rick was smiling at at the 
the end of that shit. That's right. You, you think he knows out. one of them? It was like one and a half mm-hmm. seconds. That was it. You think he knows one no. of them? No. From the next time, and I'm just. I think somebody has it in their scope. Right? That's what Chris says. That somebody's away, and he knows that if they fuck some shit up, RPG this motherfucker. Mm-hmm. I say that he's laughing or smiling because, like we saw him the next time, whatever the clip said. Okay. He said you got two choices. Okay. You can come out of this alive. Okay. And he also said before that he goes the line was. Uh, we don't belong to you, so you can't do anything to us. We belong to Negan. So he knows. Who said that? Rick, see, you weren't paying attention. Yeah, hey, he did. Can I get a run back? <laughs> right here, I'm going to place that clip. The saviors, they own our lives. And they will come looking. But there is a way out. That's what I'm saying. So I feel like he's smiling or smirking about it like because you can't, do shit you can't do nothing. We don't belong to you. And if you fuck us up, he's going to come looking for us. Because we're his brother. And then he's going to fuck y'all up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a really good analogy. Or it could be what Chris said, which would be really fucking exciting. It I would be. I guarantee. It would be really exciting. I will have to say this. If he was like, <laughs> y'all niggas are doing shit. I want, you, <laughs> I want you to look behind you right there at 4 o'clock to the left yep. right there. No, he ain't going to He's sitting right there. He's sitting right there. He gonna fuck you. Right that RPG that all, all you sneaky bitches that be analyzing everything, I guarantee you somebody from Rick's group is missing. Yeah. Guarantee but you, only a couple of them went anyway. No. Only a few of them went on this boathouse trip. He's not that good. No, he never. Gabriel's not that good. Mm-hmm. He never needs But can we disagree? This was an awesome episode. It was disagree. a very good episode. Slow burn. No, agree. I'm sorry. Just, Just agree. Just agree. It was no, slow agree. burn. But that shit burned was, right when that shit okay. burned. It did burn. Mm. It did burn. Mm. It wasn't like a sparkler. It didn't come and go real quick. It was, it was drawn out. Was you know when Chris likes the shit. <laughs> After, as soon as he said, as soon as that clothesline shit happened, he was in for the rest of the episode. <laughs> yes, I was. <laughs> Like, oh shit, I'm in, nigga. I'm awake. They always go down like a line, too. Like, Justin's always uber excited. I'm always like kind of excited. Chris is always like, it was okay. I'm unimpressed, motherfucker. I'm unimpressed. So, if Chris is impressed. The episode I And you know that shit was good. Guess what's gonna happen season two? I mean, season two. <laughs> I can tell you what happens in season two. Okay. You mean episode 10? I'm talking next episode. Episode, episode 10. 10. He thinks it's gonna plateau. Episode two of the mid season. He thinks it's gonna let's, plateau. Let's hope. Let's hope that it won't plateau. That's Let's hope that we are elevating it now. Because yeah. I feel like we are on the upscale, or upscale, yeah. excuse me. Like uh, Tony had said earlier, you guys probably didn't catch it. If you didn't watch this live stream, watch the live stream. Yeah, watch live stream. She said that that first episode of season seven, we came out like, hmm. Like so now, China, they were like, the producers and everybody was like, hold up. We, we really that. fuck shit up. We gotta scale the fuck back. Yeah. We gotta scale the fuck back. Because now, no one's gonna be impressed, no matter what we do. No matter what here. we do. So then we kind of got this you whole half of season full of nonsense. They did go hard. For TV, they went hard. They yeah. only went hard a little bit this episode to yeah. this season But premiere. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. If they episode stay two, on that, that was, level. That was fun though. That cool thought was fucking fun. We were like, wow! Like, that shit was so good. It was great. All right, well, let's close this out, you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Yet again, we are back for The Walking Dead. We love you guys. We miss you guys. Thank you so much. Um, and, you know, like, comment, share, subscribe. Y'all know what to do. You know what to do. You know what to we do. We don't gotta keep telling yeah. y'all. And join us for our live streams are every single Sunday, 9 p.m. From this point on. Standard time. Mm-hmm. Eastern time. And Eastern in the description time. box. I always say the wrong shit. You're right, because in the description box, we always have our links to our Facebook, our Twitter, whatever it is, we have it there. Snapchat. Y'all can be Snapchat. Mm-hmm. Me during the day while I'm bored at work. <laughs> Damn right you can. But we love you guys. Uh, again, I'm Justin DeJesus. I'm Tony Kavari. And I'm Christopher Mellison. And you want to talk Oh, shit! Us. Y'all. I'm gonna cut you. I almost, I'm you like I I almost became Carl you. right quick. I almost lost uh, my eye. Coral. Coral. Also Rosita. She said, I... No, Sasha needs to no. Rosita. Make sure y'all keep that popcorn popping. <laughs> and those joysticks rocking. And scissor me timbers. <laughs>